Air Canada pilots have voted they might go on strike. This is big news. Travel plans could be disrupted. Let's understand why this is happening. Pilots are essential to air travel. They ensure our safety and get us to our destinations. When they're unhappy, it's important to understand why. This essay will explore the reasons behind the strike vote and what it means for the future of flying. Pilots are asking for changes. They want better pay. They want more time off. They also want improved working conditions. These are reasonable requests. Everyone deserves fair treatment at work. Pilots work long hours. They have a lot of responsibility. They want to be compensated fairly for their hard work. Talks between pilots and Air Canada started months ago. They haven't reached an agreement yet. The pilots' union held a strike vote. This means pilots voted on whether to strike. The majority voted yes. This doesn't mean a strike will happen immediately. It gives the union the power to call a strike if needed. Negotiations are ongoing. Both sides are trying to find a solution. There are a few things that could happen next. The pilots and Air Canada could reach a deal. This is the best outcome. It would avoid a strike. Flights would continue as scheduled. If they don't reach a deal, there could be a strike. This would disrupt travel plans. Flights could be cancelled or delayed. Passengers would be inconvenienced. Section 5. Echoes of discontent. Past airline labour disputes in Canada. The history of labour disputes in the Canadian airline industry is a long and complex one, filled with numerous instances of tension and negotiation. These disputes have often shaped the landscape of the industry, influencing policies and practices that affect both employees and management. This isn't the first time Canadian airlines have faced labour disputes. Over the decades, there have been numerous strikes, protests and negotiations that have brought attention to the working conditions and demands of airline employees. These events have often been marked by intense negotiations and, at times, significant disruptions to air travel. There have been similar situations in the past. For instance, in the 1980s and 1990s, several major strikes occurred, leading to widespread delays and cancellations. These strikes were often the result of disagreements over wages, working hours and benefits, highlighting the ongoing struggle between airline management and their employees. For example, WestJet pilots went through a similar process a few years ago. In 2018, WestJet pilots, represented by the Airline Pilots Association, negotiated a new contract after months of talks. The potential strike was averted at the last minute, but it underscored the ongoing issues within the industry. These disputes highlight the challenges of the airline industry, balancing the need to remain profitable while ensuring fair treatment of employees is a delicate act. The industry is highly competitive and airlines must constantly find ways to cut costs without compromising on safety or service quality. Airlines need to keep costs low to stay competitive. This often means implementing cost-cutting measures, which can lead to tensions with employees who may feel that their compensation and working conditions are being compromised. The financial pressures on airlines are immense and finding ways to reduce expenses is a constant challenge. But workers deserve fair wages and benefits. Pilots, flight attendants and ground staff all play crucial roles in the operation of an airline and their demands for fair compensation and working conditions are legitimate. The safety and satisfaction of passengers depend on the well-being of these employees. Finding a balance is crucial. Achieving a fair and equitable agreement between airline management and employees is essential for the long-term success of the industry. It requires open communication, mutual respect and a willingness to compromise. Only by working together can both parties ensure a stable and prosperous future for Canadian Airlines. Section 6, WestJet, a case study in airline labour negotiations. The WestJet case provides valuable insights. It shows the importance of communication. Both sides need to listen to each other. They need to understand each other's concerns. It also shows the importance of compromise. Both sides may need to give up something to reach a deal. The goal is to find a solution that works for everyone. Section 7, the ripple effect impact on travellers and the aviation industry. The Air Canada situation has wider implications. It could impact travellers across Canada. It could also impact the Canadian economy. Airlines are a vital part of the economy. A strike 
would hurt the tourism industry, it would also disrupt business travel. This could have a negative impact on the economy. Section 8, Beyond the Cockpit, Long-Term Implications for Labour Relations. This situation also has implications for labour relations. It shows the importance of unions. Unions give workers a voice. They help workers negotiate for better pay and working conditions. The Air Canada situation could encourage workers in other industries to demand better treatment. This could lead to more labour disputes in the future. Section 9. The future of flying, navigating labour disputes in the sky. The aviation industry is a complex and dynamic field, constantly evolving with technological advancements and shifting economic landscapes. The airline industry is changing. With the advent of new technologies and the increasing demand for air travel, airlines are under pressure to adapt and innovate. This transformation is not without its challenges. Airlines are facing new challenges, such as rising fuel costs and increased competition. The cost of fuel, which is a significant portion of an airline's operating expenses, continues to fluctuate, impacting profitability. Additionally, the competitive landscape is becoming more intense with the emergence of low-cost carriers and the expansion of international airlines into new markets. These challenges could lead to more labour disputes in the future. Labour disputes in the airline industry are not uncommon, often arising from disagreements over wages, working conditions and job security. As airlines strive to cut costs and increase efficiency, employees may feel the strain, leading to potential conflicts. It's important for airlines and workers to find ways to work together. Collaboration and mutual understanding are key to navigating these turbulent times. By fostering a culture of cooperation, airlines and their employees can work towards common goals and ensure the industry's long-term success. They need to communicate effectively. Open and transparent communication channels can help bridge the gap between management and staff, allowing for the timely resolution of issues and the prevention of misunderstandings. They need to be willing to compromise. Flexibility and a willingness to find middle ground are essential in resolving disputes. Both parties must be prepared to make concessions and work towards solutions that benefit everyone involved. This is the only way to ensure a stable and sustainable future for the airline industry. By prioritising collaboration, communication and compromise, the industry can navigate the challenges ahead and continue to thrive. The future of flying depends on the ability of airlines and their employees to work together harmoniously, ensuring safe, efficient and enjoyable air travel for all. Section 10, finding common ground, a path to resolution. The current situation is complex. There's no easy solution, but there's always hope. Both sides have a shared interest in finding a solution. They need to come to the table with open minds. They need to be willing to listen to each other. With goodwill and a commitment to finding common ground, a fair and equitable agreement can be reached. Section 11, conclusion, soaring to new heights or facing further turbulence. The outcome of the Air Canada pilot situation remains uncertain. This situation has been brewing for months, with negotiations between the airline and the pilots' union reaching a critical point. Both sides have valid concerns and demands, making it a complex issue to resolve. It's a critical juncture for the airline, its employees and the travelling public. The stakes are high, as any disruption could have far-reaching consequences. Passengers are anxious, wondering if their travel plans will be affected. Employees are on edge, uncertain about their job security and future working conditions. Will they reach new heights of understanding and cooperation? The potential for a breakthrough exists if both parties can find common ground. There have been instances in the past where similar disputes were resolved amicably, leading to stronger relationships and better working conditions. Or will they face further turbulence? The possibility of a strike or other forms of industrial action looms large. Such actions could lead to significant disruptions in flight schedules, financial losses for the airline and inconvenience for passengers. The weather metaphorically represents the uncertainty and potential chaos that could ensue. But one thing is clear, the outcome will have a lasting impact on the future of air travel in Canada. The decisions made in the coming days and weeks will shape the air